all right so first of all thank you and um, thanks for completing this particular getting started uh, with clean architecture course wherein you have actually got the foundational concepts like how to get started with clean architecture using dotnet core now the time has come to switch your gears and basically you need to you know understand like not only creating this architecture right from the scratch by the way this is the page which you are going to create right and this is the readme page for that particular project which i am talking about and this is going to be the e-shopping page and this is the architecture in front of you which you guys will be making right from the scratch so this is uh, the ultimate course uh, for developers who you know just want to embark on a transform transformative journey right to you know master microservices using dotnet core and clean architecture and in this comprehensive 32 hour course you will gain hands on experience with docker and kubernetes to deploy and manage your microservices efficiently you know you will be learning how to integrate uh, identity server for uh, for secure authentication and authorization piece you will uh, definitely using rabbit mq for seamless messaging and grpc for efficient microservices communication so there is plethora of thing uh, moving in here right so in, this is that's why i call this a pretty comprehensive 32 hours long journey wherein you will be not only doing the development part but also taking that you know the other parts wherein uh, let's say you will be you know uh, connecting all the dots right whether it's a front end part or a you know uh, that uh, other part which gets involved like uh, cross cutting uh, concerns part or uh, the infrastructure part so when i talk about the infrastructure part it's going to be docker kubernetes and service mesh, uh, mesh as well so in this case we'll be putting entire assets on this uh, istio service mesh which you will be seeing at the other side of the video to effortless uh, basically to effortlessly manage microservices traffic and this all things uh, will be part of this particular course only and this is the course links which you can see here and i have also pasted the coupons and in which case if you like to do this this is the uh, on the udemy page creating dotnet core microservices using clean architecture and this is the it like you see this is 32 hour long video and uh, this is going to be you know plethora of things which is going here so all together it's uh, almost 27 sections and it's uh, still growing because every year i'll be updating this with the latest framework and apart from the latest framework i will be adding additional modules as well in this case because uh, uh, currently we are you know working on that legacy stuff like which is this one and apart from that actually e shopping uh, readme page i also uh, talked about this on the detailed part like in the medium blog itself which you can see here you can simply uh, search my name Rahul Sahai uh, uh, creating .NET microservices you can uh, uh, you know flip over to all the links so this is the gist of this right so since you guys have now got the gist of this like how to get started uh, from clean slate using clean architecture so it's time to switch the gears and uh, complete this journey with this particular course uh, by making uh, by putting all the you know um, technologies under one pawn and connect the dots seamlessly like an enterprise edition which we used to do in any company and this is what is expected in any company where you are working in right and uh, if you see this readme page it also talks about the backend architecture how, how the code is going to be structured and uh, the solution diagram and likewise the angular diagram which you are seeing here so uh, angular architecture and how it is you know structured and then of course the deployment patch where you know that entire stuff like um, uh, is uh, moved into the helm uh, chart and that is what is getting into that aks also known as azure kubernetes services and that is what uh, you will be you know doing that and this is the project overview and this is the page where you know you will get to see how many technologies used this is just the glimpse of that but actually this is beyond that uh, and you will get to see more about this uh, when you get inside the course because there will be more toolings you are going to learn and this is how the flow is going to learn basically you will be making an e-shopping experience for a sports center website which is this one and this is the angular representation for that and in the back end it's talking about the clean architecture microservices which you guys will be creating so this is how the entire journey will look like and that's what i have put uh, posted into this uh, readme page this entire journey as well and then what are the things which you will be learning throughout uh, with this journey uh, along with me and uh, like how to uh, do this container management via portainer how elastic search is going to work 
how you will be putting all the workloads on azure container registry itself and then how it will be uh, you know picking uh, from azure country uh, you know kubernetes services so these are all the things and the bonus part is like a cube lens so cube lens is a pretty powerful thing and powerful tool which you will be uh, seeing uh, you know uh, uh, during this infrastructure uh, uh, stuff and uh, you will get to know how easy it is like uh, to manage all these infrastructure bits right and this is all about kubernetes and its assets like how we are going to manage that and that is what lens is talking about that plus we are going to auto scale this also as in demand increases so what will be the rule set how to set the rule set so these are all other things which you are going to see into that and apart from that istio is the main thing where you know service mesh is going to handle all the cross cutting concerns for your uh, you know uh, the uh, port which is going to happen the pod which is going to happen right so this is uh, service uh, if you have heard of that uh, that sidecar thing so this is going also to embrace this sidecar and this is what it is uh, mentioning here that sidecar is you know uh, taking care of all the cross cutting uh, concerns uh, injected into that particular pod itself and this is the kiali workload this is the overview of that like how that uh, you know injection is happening and uh, how the flow of your application is moving and that is what it is uh, getting visualized in the end with grafana as well like uh, for that particular uh plain dashboard like how it is coming up so these are all the things which you will be you know learning in this particular course right from the scratch uh, in this comprehensive 32 hours journey and uh, there is a lot to learn of course so don't waste time just uh, join me uh, you know in that particular series see you there thank you